the choice of a bivariate correlation coefficient is based on the scales of measurement of the two variables. Note that in the context of correlation, ratio and interval scales are often referred to as continuous, while ordinal and nominal scales are referred to as categorical. Also, when a categorical variable has only two categories, it's referred to as a dichotomy. The Pearson R is also known as the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient and is used when both variables are measured on a continuous scale and the relationship between the variables is linear. Assuming that there's a linear relationship between hours spent studying for the EPPP and EPPP score, the Pearson R would be the appropriate correlation coefficient for these two variables. An alternative to the Pearson R is eta which can be used when both variables are continuous and their relationship is either linear or nonlinear. As an example, according to the Yerkes-Dodson law, the relationship between arousal and performance takes the shape of an inverted U, with low and high levels of arousal being associated with lower levels of performance and moderate levels of arousal being associated with higher levels of performance. Assuming that arousal and performance are both measured on a continuous scale, eta would be the appropriate correlation coefficient for these measures. Next is Spearman Rho, which is also known as the Spearman Rank Order Correlation Coefficient and is used when data on both variables are ranks. It would be the appropriate correlation coefficient for IQ and achievement test scores when scores on both tests have been converted to ranks. The point by serial correlation coefficient is used when one variable is continuous and the other is a true dichotomy. The distinction between a PsyD and a PhD degree is a true dichotomy, and the point by serial correlation coefficient would be used to determine the correlation for e triple P score and type of degree. The by serial correlation coefficient is used when one variable is continuous and the other is an artificial dichotomy. An artificial dichotomy occurs when a continuous variable is dichotomized. E triple P scores would represent an artificial dichotomy when a cutoff score is used to divide the scores into two categories, pass or fail. The by serial correlation coefficient would be used to determine the correlation for hours spent studying for the E triple P and dichotomized E triple P scores. Finally, the contingency coefficient is used when both variables are measured on a nominal scale. It would be the appropriate correlation coefficient to determine the correlation between gender and delusional disorder subtype. 